What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. All you new subscribers, I'm Barboss. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, go down below and hit it. Because at 3,300 subscribers, we're having a raffle. So this is going to be day two of trying to start the CRX. I did buy some starting fluid. So that's what we're going to go do. We're going to go try this to see if we get any kind of reaction. So in the last episode... You guys know already that we got spark um the fuel pump is kicking in but it's probably really old fuel that's where this comes into play um there is oil and let me check if there's fluid still in here it looks kind of dry we'll probably put some fluid in there and then we're gonna go ahead and try to spray some of this stuff into the throttle body right in here see if we get some kind of a reaction all right so i just went ahead and i sprayed a little bit in there i'm gonna wait for him to i'm gonna spray a little bit more Go ahead and try it one more time. All right, go ahead and crank it. <laughs> it's dead. Damn. So it didn't start, we ended up killing off the battery. What I'm gonna do right now is take this valve cover off and we are gonna check the timing to see if maybe a tooth might be off or something. So I'm gonna check the timing by dropping this in there. I pulled out the plug from right here I'm just gonna drop this guy, he's gonna drop all the way and he's gonna be sitting on top of the piston. And then what I'm gonna do is spin the crankshaft pulley until the mark is facing up. Once that mark is facing up, this should be all the way up here somewhere, which should be top dead center. And then when that's at top dead center, these guys over here should be lined up on the camshafts. So there's my crank pulley, it should be a 19 and we are going to spin this counterclockwise, always spin it counterclockwise. That should be it right there. These marks are actually upside down right now, so I'm just gonna continue. There, tap that center. This guy's all the way on the top, and then these guys, these guys are a little bit off. So there's a mark right here, and then there's a mark up here. So right where my fingers are, that's where the marks are. So 
the marks gotta be lined up so I went ahead and I cranked it just a pinch more and this guy came up a little bit more and now I fully stopped and these marks are actually lined up really good on the timing so our timing is good So I went ahead and I put the valve cover back on. Um, I pulled out all the plugs and I cleaned them with a uh, car cleaner. I put them back in, the wires are all clean. I also noticed this right here. Check this out. You guys see that wire that's inside the cap? Right underneath it, it looks like it clips in there and it's disconnected. You guys can see that? So I'm going to take the cap off and connect that little wire back, put it back where it goes. Alright, so I put that little wire back in there. This thing's pretty much ready. I'm going to go ahead and spray a little bit of starting fluid right there. Let me put you guys down for a second. <laughs> Hold on, let me spray some more uh, starter fluid in there. That was a backfire from the starting fluid. Just coming back out the intake. Right, I'm gonna have to put you guys down for a second. So I pulled out my plugs again. I cleaned them out. I disconnected my injectors. And I'm gonna try to put only starting fluid in there. See if we get a reaction again. All right. Hold the pedal all the way down and turn it. All right, one more time. This time, hold it down and I'm gonna keep spraying it. Alright, so we got it started and I just found out that the alternator is completely seized up. The pulley isn't going 
it did burn up the, the belt right off. But we did get it started. We're gonna go ahead and do it one more time so we can show you guys. So I heard some rubbing on the timing and I'm trying to figure out what's rubbing. And it looks like it's this is plastic right here. This plastic is like warped and it's rubbing a little bit on the timing belt. Alright. Yeah. It's that plastic piece right there. So we got the car started. Now we know that there's a few things that need to be replaced. Um, the engine is still good. It's gonna need an oil change. All the fluids are gonna have to be flushed out of this thing. And we're debating right now if this water pump is good or not. Cause last time we were here, we had water, but we did bring the hose and we kind of sprayed that whole side so that might have just been water that ran this way so what we're gonna do right now is be really careful and put some water in there and fill her up with just water to see if we get uh any leaks over here and then after that he's gonna have to get the cover that goes at the bottom so we can shoot the timing Another thing is that alternator, it's completely seized, the little uh, pulley on there. So that's going to have to be replaced. And after that, oh, and a battery. We're also going to need a battery. And after that, this car should be golden. Shoot the timing. And this car should be ready to go on the road. We put a bunch of fluid in there, of water, oh, yeah. and we moved the car forward to see if we find any leaks. We moved it forward because there was that big stain over there. It's leaking? Yeah, I think I see it dripping. If you look. Oh yeah, I see. Let me show you guys. Something's going on down here. It's gonna be the water pump. 